morning race fans, sim fans, RC fans, racing 393. So today is the uh, 15th of January 2023. Uh, the time's about quarter past eight in the morning. Uh, I'm just leaving now for to go to Roberts Bridge, which is in which has uh, a club meeting today uh, for the uh, LMP12, the carpet racers, or the one that I've been preparing for forever. So it's about an hour and a half away. Um, so it shouldn't take me too long. Um, well, an hour and a half. I've got all my kit with me on the proviso that I might be able to have a go with my car around the track. Don't know, but like to, because I've never, I've never driven it around anywhere, only the kitchen, which doesn't really tell you anything. So, you know, I'm not gonna film the whole journey. I've run out of things to say, but um, I'm kind of in two minds. I'm gonna be very, very controversial here now, what I'm about to say. Um, RC racing at, at kind of this indoor racing. Well, what's that? The 112th. I don't think it's a spectator sport. So bringing people along just to watch, don't know. To me, it's more about participating and you get more enjoyment out of uh, controlling the car and driving around yourself. I suppose it's slightly different events where, you know, maybe nitro or buggy, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, certainly at like world, world championship level, European championship level, higher level maybe, are they, um, would you say that there's spectators there? I mean, they do get spectators, uh, don't get me wrong. Maybe not sure uh, uh, about maybe things like the 112 scheme, uh, the 112 scene. Let me know your thoughts on that one. We're about to join the motorway now, so I'm not gonna bore you with that one, and I'll be back uh, shortly when I've got something else to say. Okay, so as you can probably work out, the sun is beating down on me. Um, we're in on the A21, heading towards Seven Oaks. The reason I can't use my visor, well, because the camera's in the way. But we've got, how long we got? 29 miles, so we've got about 40 minutes. Uh, is it that long? No, maybe not long. Half an hour. Half an hour until we get there. It's been a good run. The M25 usually in the UK is a part of shit but you know this time in the morning on a Sunday it's a bit easier I can see now thank God for that so um, I'll um, I'll pick you up again once I get a bit closer um, probably when I get there actually because it's just the A21 now down so uh, not much to see or do to be honest I'll uh, be back in a second well, I'm here, Roberts Bridge Community Sports Hall. Guess that's where it's held. But there's apps, I mean, unless I've gone wrong, there's sod all parking. I'd hate to think where the parking's gonna be for, for next week when you've got many, many more people here. So it's a historic village, it's quite nice down this part of the woods. I quite like it down here, but uh, the roads are terrible coming when you get off the main roads. Massive freaking potholes. Don't ever seem to like it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find out where I've got to go, and I'll leave my gear in the car for now. I'm not gonna worry too much. But I'll. Um, I'll take the camera with me anyway. So I sat down and. Uh, Sort of by the side of the track, the podium, if you like, where the people are controlling the cars are on my left. You can see them up there. And I'm just sort of filming a bit of the sort of the pre-run runs, if you like. This is sort of like one of the heats. I've done the heat in full, um, just so you get a, a rough idea of the, how long these five-minute races last. Uh, when I say five minutes. 
Uh, obviously, it does last five minutes, um, but it's the sort of the length of time. So this is like the start of one of the heats. It's exactly how I thought one, it would be. Two, it's <sighs> again. I'm going to say it how it is. I like RC racing and the, the com anything competitive with the motor. I won't say engine. I use the word motor. Uh, is exactly down my street. From first glances, when you look at this from someone coming in that wants to have a go of it, or uh, somebody who's been involved in motorsport, it can be quite uninspiring. But, and I will say this, like with most things, I will say especially this, it is very uh, friendly. Uh, each and every one of these people that are there, ranging for ages from uh, people around about 10 years old. There wasn't many young people there, young, young, but there was a young kid, but we say it ranges from about 10 or 11 or 12, sort of when I got into my RC hobby, back when I was that age, all the way up to my age, which is old, uh, and beyond. And the enthusiasm from the individual, you can see from the people that are there, working on their cars, talking amongst themselves, you can just hear the comp a very humble, happy, enjoyable people. And I'll say that as a sort of motive, as in, they're just sitting there to enjoy their hobby. I mean, you don't choose to do anything without having some interest in it. If you haven't got an interest, don't do it. So, yeah, uh, I can't knock people's enthusiasm. I chat, chat to the guy who runs the club. Um, one of the sort of key things he said is that most people there have been there years and know what they're doing. When you get someone new, you forget you have to tell people what to do, which means the reason uh, RC racing may suffer is it isn't encouraging new people along. It is assuming, by the way, that car hit pretty hard, didn't it? It is assuming everyone's been there years and knows what they're doing. They're not bringing in new blood into the sport, which doesn't necessarily have to be youngsters, but just generally where the RC interest starts. Um, most people, I suppose, would start when they're a bit younger, but there's many of them that started later on in life. Uh, the guy I chatted to had retired, hasn't done any racing, no RC at all apart from this. And he was reasonably local to the area, so it, 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 it depends, it depends. But I don't think rally controlled car racing, or if you want to have the thing, the BRCA, are not doing enough to warrant having to encourage new people. Uh, the guy I spoke to who runs this club, even I wasn't aware that there's another two or three clubs. That's what I was well aware. There was another two or three clubs, three, within this area running today. So you've got different. Um, that was hard as well, that went over. <laughs> Glad I got that. I don't know what he was doing, mostly looking the other way. Anyway, yeah, so you've, you've got kind of a very sort of similar thing in like real life racing as you have in this. There's multiple events going on in the area which splits the interest. So, for example, when you have like just these running or these and one other. You get a divide, it's 50 50, isn't it? You're gonna, well, it depends, but you know what I mean. It's gonna have some will go here, others will go to another event. And you've got, I think he says about four events. Uh, this is the second sort of running video. Uh, yeah, so th that that can't be good, and it obviously happens at this level the BRCA national level and the national championship is it, is it the national championship i think it is people travel around a lot in fact there was a big event up somewhere you did mention uh, an indoor event up north or i say up north 
Anything north of Watford is no. That was hard as well, wasn't it? <laughs> I think it damaged that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, yeah, damage on RC. Oh my god. Go home. At least you just chuck it in a bag and chuck it in the car and off you go. It's not like real racing, as it were. Uh, so, yeah, there's lots of things that need to be done. Um, again, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I personally, the participant aspect of this interests me because you go around my idea would be to get around as quick as I can without hitting things and making the car easy to drive it's got the setup on these is as equally as complex as a real life race car and more so perhaps with a race and I'll say this in racing car because it's all the ride height droop uh, pod angle anti-squat uh, I said ride height, uh, I suppose to a degree, corner weights, we can change things, weight distribution, toe in, toe out, caster, camber, gearing, and it all makes a big difference. These guys make this look easy. Excuse me, eat me at the moment. I'll just come back out to the car. Okay, so I've finished eating. Um, I'm hoping I can come out the same way I went in. Not too sure. Turn left. I'm not sure if this is the one way in and one way out scenario. I've got a feeling it could be. Anyway. So we are out. Got like an hour and a half home. So what do I think then? So yeah, it's all right. Um, I've done a bit of filming. Um, let's go that way. I've done a little bit of filming. Um, and I'm going to do a bit of talk over because um, I'm not going to commentate when I'm there. Um, and the two heats that I that you see or saw were just the club, well, I say just, they were still... Uh, they were still a lot more capable than what I would be. Um, as it happens, the third race was the people that could race like professionally. So uh, I didn't film that because I wanted to watch that, and it, it does make a big difference the, uh, of how good. How good you got to be to be good. There was the, a four times Welsh champion there today. <clears throat> I'm just dodging potholes, it's absolutely manic. Uh, yeah, four times world champion. Someone just sitting there with his um, model car. But he's from Zen Racing, I think. So, so I was told. Zen Racing sort of makes these 112 carpet racers we designed those I think from what I was told so he, he should know what he's doing um, four times world champion is some going so what do I think yeah it's all right it's run well it seems to be a, a very close-knit little club that one uh, next weekend is the BRCA meeting, the national event. So I, I did speak to somebody there that has done, only been racing for four, four months, three months or whatever, and has done a national event. So he's, has, and he's going to be there next week. So at least, you know, you've got someone that's, I think the trick is not to get in the way when you're going around, but of course, I didn't get a chance to try my car because I didn't know you know, the, the, it's the gaps within the, the racing. 
uh, as there wasn't a lot of people there. However, I didn't want to be there too long today because I was going to be there all weekend next weekend. So I decided to come away a little bit earlier. I had a little bite to eat and, and, and crack on. This is the area we're in at the minute is very, very historic. It's a quite a straight, easy route here, so that's not too bad. So all in all, yeah, it's all pretty good. I kind of know what to expect. Some people have got a shed load of stuff. Others have got hardly anything. Um, I think providing an extension lead and a four-way is kind of what's needed for power. So I'll have to make sure I've got one of those. Take one with me. Um, some people have taken things like, you know, soldering irons and, and stuff like that, of course. I mean, I have got one. I don't know if I'll take one, though. Only for the fact that, well, there's going to be people there that can solder a wire back on if it comes off. All in all, it's kind of what I expected. It's a very much a part, like I said, a participant sport. I spoke to two people there. It's not really a spectator sport or hobby, if you like. It's a, um, it's more the fact of being involved and doing it yourself. It's, you know, when I was watching, I was thinking to myself, it's like most things. It just looks easy, but in my head, it's going to be damn difficult. Um, I'm not so worried now because I can see the how people drive, um, you know, what they expect. They're only there enjoying themselves. Uh, there's a couple of guys I spoke to, they were fairly local. Um, so, you know, it's not everyone's there to sort of break world records. There's, there's a sort of, the, there was a group, the last group that went out see they were all fairly competent drives uh, they all seem to know what they're doing a lot of the people there have been racing um, in excess of 30 years 30 years oh my god you know it's insane amount of lap a thousands and thousands and thousands of laps you're just not going to compete with that i think so providing i can keep myself out of the trouble not damage my car enjoy my race and my laps and just sort of go around clean as i can i'll be more than happy uh, anyway so that's going to be it for this very short video um, I'll have another one next week I'll, I'll film um, a few of my exploits might do a little bit of a film around where I'm at just so you've got a feeling for it but other than that I shall see you next week for the BRCA National Championship round that's rounds one and two next Saturday and Sunday 21st and 22nd of January at Eastbourne. That's at Roberts Bridge Community College. So I bid you farewell. Thanks for watching. And bye for now. <laughs>